Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So Panfrost has matured for the old Roid N2+. It isn't performing at full capacity yet, but it works. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to enable Panfrost for the old Roid N2+, on an Armbian mainline image. So Panfrost is the open source GPU driver for the ARM Mali GPUs. It already works very well on the RK3399, but that has an older architecture. So now it is also available for the Oldroid N2+. So for this I'm going to use Armbian Focal Cinnamon with the kernel 5.10. You must have a mainline kernel for this. This will not work with the legacy kernel. So here we are in Cinnamon, you already see there is a notification, check your video drivers, because there are no video drivers. So let's try GLX Info, and as you can see it is using the LLVM pipe. So no Panfrost. So all we need to do to install Panfrost is add this repository. So sudo add apt repository ppa oe buff slash graphics dash drivers and after that we do sudo update and sudo upgrade and then we reboot so if we now again do helix info then we see that we've got panfrost enabled so mali g52 panfrost so that is great so now we can play games and we also can have a GPU accelerated browser. So let me first install Super Tux Card. So first this I had to change the desktop theme because Panfrost changed the font color to white and the background color was also white so I couldn't read anything. So I installed some dark themes and I enabled them. And now I can read everything that I need to read. Got the elegance dark. And the most important was here controls. And there I have got adapto nocta. And as you can see here I can't read anything of this. So if I turn it back to adapta nocta. Then we can read what is written over here. So that was one thing I had to do. There are still a few bugs, so don't expect it to be very stable, but it is a beginning. So now let's start Super Tux Card. So as I said, it doesn't perform that great yet, but I expect it will improve very soon. So with the RK3399 it was the same, when Panfrost was new for it, it didn't perform that great, but now it performs really well. So expect in a half year, or maybe a year, this will be a lot better. So let me turn on frames per second, so you can see how many frames per second it does. And here we go. So I am recording this with Kazam. Kazam is only at 15 frames per second, so it doesn't look that great. But it does get about 20 frames per second. Maximum of 22 frames per second, and the lowest is 19 frames per second. Okay, this is a high resolution, so it isn't performing that great, but it works. And now let's create a GPU accelerated browser. So this works with Chromium, but I can't install an ad block in Chromium. And I don't want to serve the internet without an ad block. So we are gonna install Vivaldi, so Vivaldi snapshots. And here downloads DebArm64 bits. So once that is downloaded, we go into our downloads direct. So CD downloads. And here we've got the file Vivaldi snapshots 4.1. So all we need to do is sudo dpkg-i and then Vivaldi snapshots and all the rest and press enter and install it. And if we then open it and we go to Vivaldi GPU then we can see that it is hardware accelerated for most things. I did try to enable rasterization but it messed up everything so I left it disabled. But it is very good that we have got a GPU accelerated browser. So that's it for today. It is great that the Oldroid N2 Plus 
or the Kados Film 3 now also have their GPU drivers. They will improve quickly. The developers of Panfrost now also have gotten support from ARM for the Bifrost GPU drivers. So that is very good. I can't wait for it to be a lot better. I am also working on something new for gamers on ARM. But that's for the future. So thank you all for watching. See you all later. Bye.